What's going on YouTube? Clay Cusalt back again with another Final Fantasy Brave XVS War of the Visions video and this week we got some new news along with that guild stuff I was talking about. We have a FFB War of the Visions collaboration where everybody's going to be able to get their hands on Fina and we have a vision card that should have been released during Christmas but it looks like it might not be limited for global. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so everybody was asking, how do you get Etra? Clake, you said you could farm her. Here you go. The Etra training quest is here where you guys can get shards, obtain the unit, and get her powered up to uh, be able to fight with you. Again, we've gone over this unit before. Not the strongest unit in the world. Nothing too crazy to, like, you know enhance awaken use your rainbow fragments on or anything like that but this unit will provide you with a tmr eventually when you have a surplus of those because you will be able to lb her fully from this event so you guys are gonna be able to farm it uh get everything uh leveled up and all good kind of stuff and they're giving us another um weapon training event which will also give us a rainbow fragments of thoughts which i need so many of those so i'm glad that's coming in here um we're gonna have a spear and a fist weapon this time I'm unsure how much I'll farm this one, uh, just really thinking about, I still need to get some of those, uh, sword, I, even though I already have, like, 300, I need to get some more of those sword awakening books, however, if we look into this, and, uh, you know, I have nothing else to end up farming after I get Etra all the way LB'd out, I may go do this a little bit and try to get a couple of these weapons, just, you know, just to have a little bit on me, no, nothing too crazy, um, but... You know, because I'm trying to think of units I'm going to use in the future, and I don't, I don't think any of them are Monk main job or uh, Dragoon main job or whatever. So I don't think I really need these weapons too much, but we'll have to, you know, I'll reassess as we go down. Remember that starting tomorrow after maintenance, you guys will be able to partake in guild battles. So for all my guild leaders out there, prepare to set up your defenses and uh, prioritize which units you use your well people in your guilds, guys, to put up as your defensive people. If you guys want to learn more about the guild battles and how they're going to work, um, go ahead and check out my past YouTube video I did on it. And I think I will be recording some of my guild battles just to show you guys how it works tomorrow. And I'll be putting that video out. So I'll wait until I can record the video, show you guys how mine go down. And uh, we'll see how my guild does on Nerd Society and hopefully they, they do well. Uh, next up, they finally had the FFB and War of the Visions collaboration event, and this is where everybody's going to get their hands on Fina. So until they upgrade the barracks to where it can uh, put your faith up by choice instead of putting it down so you could choose if it goes up or down, Fina is the only option for us to be able to raise faith permanently in the game. I know a lot of people talk about Gilgamesh, but from what I understand, his does not do it permanently like Fina does after battle for some reason, so we're going with that. If you guys have a disagreement with that and you guys use Gilgamesh and he does put it up permanently, please let me know in the comments below because I don't have one built up, so I can't test it myself. But it looks like FFBE, if we get enough players, are going to get 5,000 Lapis and a 10 plus 1 uh, guaranteed summon ticket, uh, Rainbow, and then we are going to get a MR plus guaranteed summon ticket, which is way worse than the FFBE one, but the FFBE one's been out for four years, and we're going to get uh, 500 Vizior to be added to our stockpile along with everybody getting Athena. Now, when it comes to this stuff, I normally would assume they just give it all out because... You know, it, it, we should hit these milestones. Like, it just seems like we always do. And if not, I think it's kind of like a PR stunt anyway. They'll just give us the stuff. So hopefully that's how it turns out. Uh, because getting these rewards in both games would be awesome because I've played both of them. Uh, moving on, they're going to talk about the uh, 2 million download celebration part 2. So you guys are going to get another, all of us are going to get another uh, free 10 plus, uh, 10 times summon. I keep wanting to say 10 plus 1 because of FFBE, but that's not correct. Um... And we're going to be able to go in and, uh, you know, test our luck again. I think I ended up getting an Eileen on mine or something. I can't remember, but it was, uh, it was, it was nice. I mean, I'm not going to be using Eileen for a while if I ever do, but it was nice. So this is the big part of the video that we need to talk about, and that's going to be this new vision card and the new banner coming out. So this new vision card was a, uh, I think it was like... It was called something, like something Christmas related, and now it's called Frederica's Dream, and it does not appear to be limited. I haven't read anywhere on this where it says it's limited, so we'll have to wait and see if there's any other in-game stuff about it being limited. But this is a great, great card when it comes to Frederica. It's honestly best in slot for her. Uh, bestowed effect, so what it gives to the user, lightning attack up. So it is even good for Orlando, in my opinion, because the bestowed attack is going to, any lightning user is going to really, really love that lightning up. And then making it even better for Frederica, the party ability is Missile Attack Up, so it'd be this for the shooters. Now, that doesn't mean you can't use it on Orlando. If you are going to use Frederica, Orlando in a party, Raryu, Orlando in a party, as long as you're using Orlando or whatever lightning unit you're going to use this with, and another unit that's going to be shooting, 
it's going to be beneficial to your party overall. And even Lucia, when she comes out, I know a lot of you guys are looking for her. Pair her with your Orlando and this card. Bada bing, bada boom. Now, how strong is it? It's pretty freaking strong. I mean, again, if we're for sure for Frederica, it's uh, the best the best card you get in the game. The problem I have with it is, is I haven't had the best of luck. And I do believe Final Fantasy, when it comes to vision cards, excuse me. Uh, and I think that Final Fantasy Tactics has to be soon. It's got to be uh, two weeks or a week or two, three, something like that. You know what I mean? Because, again, Global's going a little bit different than JP. So I would assume because we don't have Christmas units for them to um, drain our Vizior, <laughs> they're going to do the tactics. So uh, I'm assuming I would be really careful when it comes to this, uh, going crazy for this, because that, that card is definitely limited, and it's uh, very, very, very good. So we're going to be waiting on that. It's agility up, so it's going to be very, very nice. The banner itself is fantastic, though, if you look at it. We have Dinkelberg or Engelbert <laughs> and Frederica, the best tank in the game, and the best tank continuing forward. Uh, he... I wouldn't say he falls off, but people start favoring some other tanks like Warrior of Light, um, some uh, uh, Miranda. I mean, they, they, they're not saying they're better, but, the, you know, we need some magic tanks. And Engelbert, I don't know if you guys have been playing with him, he sucks at taking magic damage. So there will be a trade-off, right? Just like in FFB, sometimes you want to use a physical tank, which he's outstanding, the best one at taking physical damage. And then sometimes you're going to want to take a magic tank. So, And you get Frederico on this banner, who is a, an outstanding SS rank unit as well. So this banner absolutely is awesome. Like, look at it. You have top tank, top ranger, and top uh, a vision card that can be used for a lot of different units that are lightning. And then very, very good for that top ranger. So not saying you shouldn't summon on this, but... Again, I'm just this banner right here being so awesome. Uh, it, it, if you are not going for anything on FFT, I would summon on it. If you're doing, if you think at all you're going to do Final Fantasy Tactics, and again, I'm not even doing it for the units. I'm just doing it to get the Vision card. Um, it's probably time to hold off a little bit. This thing will be running until the 21st, um, so you can kind of wait off anyway until you see the news for next week, hopefully. And then if it's not Tactics, then maybe you can go a little ham. You know, it's really up to you guys. Um, and then they're going to have a, vi uh, a featured unit and vision card shop, which I love because I own both those units already. I already have her in Dinkelberg, so <laughs> I'm going to be able to get them uh, you know, up a little bit more buying their shards. And then it looks like it's 300 plus Vizior a day from now on when it comes to this daily uh, uh, purchase thing. It was 60. 60 was awesome for so many players. Um, but it looks like it's going to be that because they give you all these shards. So it's going to be for Dinkelberg. And if we look at my units, this is going to help me tremendously. Like, I am close to fully LBing her. Look at this. I mean, I'm 70 away, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to buy 40 in the shop. So, and the game is giving me daily login bonuses of her shards already. And then if we look at Dinkelberg, Engelbert, <laughs> you can see that I'm close to getting his uh, LB too. And then if I do the... Um, Get a shards from the shop, and I do the daily purchase, which I'm a uh, you know spender a whale. I'm gonna do that. I always do it, even for uh, other units because I buy the uh, energy pots. I'm gonna have him pretty close to start working on LB3. So I'm going to uh, prioritize his shards to make sure I can get him to LB3, and that way I can unlock all of his abilities. So very very excited about the banner for myself. I mean it's it's pretty awesome uh, for my uh, for my progression um, for these two units because they're my strongest units. Like if we go back, I mean I know this is like a this number doesn't really matter, but when I sort by this number, it pretty much tells me who's uh, who I've worked on the most, you know, who I've invested in the most. And they're my strongest units, and they're coming out on a banner? Pretty sick, I think, right? Pretty good. And then uh, poor Medina, she's going to be able to be awakened soon. I'm at five, uh, two out of five with her. Uh, I do know that I'm going to be getting the... Uh, uh, a couple of different ones. I've already bought the friend point one, uh, and I have one from the monthly. We should be getting two from the monthly um, missions because they did state that the... I'm going to go take a look at this. They did state that the mission for the guild should be reverted back from a prism to a... Let's see. It's a training. Guild statues. I actually just have something here I need to claim. Uh, this one should be reverted. I think they said after maintenance tomorrow or tonight, this should go back to a rainbow fragment. So once I get done with this, which will be a little bit by the end of the month, I'll even get more from there. And then the Etra event will give me some. So I can see it slowly bleeding over and we can slowly start building up our units. But like I said, it is a uh, <laughs> slow drip when it comes to those rainbow fragments. I did buy my friend point one because you can buy them once a month. You can see that the bottom of the thing says ends in 16 days. I do believe they reset. So with my friend points, I am literally just spinning them on those. Um, it's just taking too long to get enough to do that. And we're about to run out of that double friends or the triple friend point thing that they did at the beginning. So who knows how long it's going to take to get another one of those. So that's where I spent mine. But overall, dudes, I cannot wait. Um, I don't know if I'm summoning for that vision card. Okay. Give me a little bit to think about it. I, I think the smart play for me, cause like, think about it. If I get Engelbert shards, uh, but you're not supposed to summon for shards, bro. Also, 
that's another good point. Because these two, are Frederica and uh, Dinkelberg, are going to be on banners, they will show up more in the shop. It'll be... And Thancred's going away. That's another thing I need to tell you guys. That... The FF14 uh, event is is gone, like, after a couple of days from now. Like, I think it's, like, two days. It might be after maintenance tonight. Let's go take a look. Um, which means his shards are done with. So if you still need to get some of his shards, 15 hours, yeah, it's after maintenance. Get his shards now, because they're not going to be in the shop anymore once he goes away. Once this banner is gone, he will not be showing up anymore, guys. So at least in your shop resets, in your, uh, in your whimsy shop, he just won't be there. Yeah, 16 hours right there. Um... <clears throat> But that means Dinkelberg and Frederica will have, and Yerma will be a lot in your shop resets and in your Whimsy shop. They'll have a higher chance, so, uh, and Nishola will be out of there as well. So, I don't know, things are changing, and uh, we have a, we're finally getting rid of the FF14. For me, I wasn't going for Thancred, so I didn't really like seeing a lot of him. But we're finally getting rid of that, so make sure um, that you, you know, farm the event as much as you need to for the end here. You guys can exchange for a week. It says seven days, so you guys have a week of exchanging if you'd like. I think I'm going to end up buying all of my uh, recipes here, buy the tickets as many times as I can if they keep resetting, which I would assume they would for the seven days, and then just hope I get Thancred on that instead of wasting the 50, I'm going to say wasting for me the 15,000 on the character. So, uh, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you're summoning on this banner or you're waiting for tactics still, you strong, strong users, you players, you hoarders, you're so strong. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash and I'll catch you guys in the next video.